My name is David Lewis. Which one of these is your Land Rover? The ugliest one over here. <laughs> Registration is LXC. <laughs> yeah, I have no imagination. Uh, what's her name? Lexi. She is a Land Rover Series 2A, 1970. So just on the cusp of Series 3. So she shares a lot of parts with the Series 3. She shares a lot of parts with a lot of these, to be honest. She's a bit of a Frankenstein. I'm, I'm pretty confident it was an ex sort of demo vehicle for Land Rover. Apparently, all vehicles that contain XC were registered at the Land Rover head, head office and were used as demo vehicles. So that's why I think she may have the original Land Rover galvanized chassis. It is rock solid. Apart from these two bits here, <laughs> which have just been repaired, <laughs> she's rock solid. Still rusts. <laughs> the cool thing with her is, the guy who had it before didn't care about aesthetics. He was very slapdash with his painting. Dial mounts, which were made out of MDF. Well, in fact, I think it's actually marine ply. Swanky. Roof flashing on the footwells. Always a good touch. So you try and get it off, yeah. I originally thought she was mid-grey since the day she was born. Took the galvanised uh, trim off, and she used to be bronze green. Um, so there was me buying all the paint, taking her back to her original, keeping her original colour of mid-grey, bought it all, only to find out she used to be bronze green, so that sort of backfired. Um, but she's going to be mid-grey. This one is the original B-pillar, and on the near side, a replacement 110 B-pillar, um, which has been all re fully replaced all the way around up to here. That's the beauty, you know, they share parts from Series 1 to Defender. There'll be an element of parts that are just the same, uh, but but why fix? You know, why change something that you know? Okay, it might rust and rot, but <laughs> why? Yeah, you know, why? Why? Yeah. When I picked her up, the doors were like waffles. So the second row doors and the front doors have been replaced. The front doors were easy to find. Got those from a company in Birmingham who are still making them to the original plans of um, Land Rover. Um, so I bought the front, front two doors and then I found um, the second row doors on eBay or something like that. And they were actually from the same guy who made the front doors. So they're built to, but they were, they were one of the last original um, plan doors pair available. So I snapped those up. Up at the front end, there's not a lot left. All seats, seat bases are out. Dashboard's been stripped back. All the wiring's been pulled through to the engine bay. Um, she's got the wrong steering wheel on. This is from a late 80s, when it was a County 90, I think. New grill, had to repair the front radiator panel at the bottom, typical bit. The water just sits at the bottom and rots it all out, so that's all been changed, uh, refabricated. As I said, the bulkhead has been repaired, albeit, in patches, it's not the most prettiest job, so we've just got to try and smooth out a few of the creases and, and dinks, but she's solid, that's the main thing. She is solid. <laughs> Honestly, she's good. <laughs> Costing me too much, spending too much time. Um, yeah. But no, she loves her. Um, so generally, she just needs tarting up and bringing back to her former glory, really. That's one thing I'm not scared to do is, is have a go, and if I can't do it, admit defeat. Like the electrics, for, for example. Um, I did have a go and rapidly moved aside. There it is. Spaghetti Junction. It's all going to get redone by someone who knows what the hell it does. Because I, frankly, don't know. Um, 200 TDI lump, really strong engine. Wasn't obviously originally put in the Series 2A. Um, you have to modify one of the engine mounts, but other than that, it's straight in. You get more power, more reliability. She's my baby. Um, I, I, I got the bug for Land Rovers when I was in the military. Uh, I was a driver by trade, had three Land Rovers in my fleet. You drive them, you use them, you abuse them, you service them. So servicing and you know your diff 
oil change, your transfer box oil change, engine oil change, that stuff, yeah, you used to do it day in, day out. Anything beyond that, it just got sent to the Remi and they, you know, handled any, you know, dents, dings, snaps, brakes, rot. But one thing it did teach me was just have a go. And now I am a little bit more experienced and, yeah, I could do it again. And, you know, I said to my wife the other day, you know, when she's done, what should we do? Should we sell her and buy another one? She, you know, it's like, I've got the bug. I've got the bug. But advice. Other than don't do it, I mean, always allow double the time, if not triple the time. Always allow double, if not triple, the cost. And always be prepared to find things that you never knew were wrong, that they're just going to jump up and say, fix me, because it's always going to happen. But yeah, it's mainly just take your time. <laughs> You're going to spend a lot of money, but it's all good fun. If you want it, it's all worth it. And it's, yeah, go for it. Yeah, it's good. Knew I forgot something. What have you got? To take off my £75 Converse. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs>